Okay, so on to the next track slash performance in Sonia's Deep Sonic Dive. Man, this is the second last 535 series and we're done with the 535s and we're moving on to other stuff. And like I said in my last video, the announcement uh, video for the winners will be dropped on the 31st of January. But now we're moving on to yet another song by Mumford & Sons. I like the fact that Sonia has put one Mumford & Sons song in almost every uh, 535 series because... Uh, I, I'm absolutely loving Mumford & Sons. This one over here, uh, Lover of the Light. I never heard of this one. I haven't heard much of Mumford & Sons discography. I only, I think we've only reacted to like three or four of Mumford & Sons, to be fair. Uh, there is a message over here from Sonia that says, The song explores the internal struggle between embracing darkness or following the light towards the redemption and personal growth. Uh, I like that. I really do like those uh, kind of songs. And uh, for those of you who are only joining us now, I suggest you go back one and just watch from um, Park Ocean because a beautiful, beautiful piece there as well. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the second one. Let's see what we got over here. Mumford and Sons, Love of the Life. Let's go. In the middle of the night, I may watch you go. Is that Idris Elba? There'll be no value in the strength of the walls that I have grown. There'll actor. be no comfort in the shade of the shadow's throne. Nope. But I'd be yours if you be mine. Stretch out my life. And pick the seams out Take what you like Wow, beautiful line over there Stretch out my life And pick the seams out Come on, bro So it's basically he's going to say Okay, well, it's kind of like all stitched together And it's all uh, um, It kind of doesn't make sense I actually need to compartmentalize this So I'm going to stretch out my life And pick the seams out And literally take this Like literally uh, um, um, bit by bit, right? You know what I mean? I'll deal with certain aspects of my life at a time, right? The bigger picture thing is great to see the bigger picture down the line over there, right? But nearer to you, you do need to sort of compartmentalize. Okay, this, you need to do something that's attainable right now, right? And as you achieve that, then you can stitch it back and then you can stitch it back. And before you know, when you're looking back to the fabric of your life, right everything is stitched correctly in the right way i absolutely love that also love the fact that idris elba is in this i think he's such a sick uh, uk actor I, I i'd absolutely love to see idris elba as james bond i think he'd make such a sick 007 james bond agent um anyway that's just me let's go i but close my ears and eyes watch me stumble over and over I had done wrong You built your tower But call me home And I will build a throne And wash my eyes out Never again But love the one you hold had those moments we've all had those um sort of like uh, self-reflecting moments when you're on your own and then you think to yourself what the fuck was i doing <laughs> what the fuck is going on with what was i doing and you you have to laugh about it because if you don't laugh you'll just cry and it's like oh good god seriously phil seriously you, are you this moronic? You know what I mean? And you just chuckle at it. And it, like, it'll replay in your mind again and again and again. And it gets to a point where it actually just becomes comedy to you. It's like, fuck. It's like, I can't change it now. I might as well laugh about it. <laughs> Make sure I don't fucking do that again. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that scene. But love the one you hold. And I'll be your goal. To have and to hold.
Alba cleans up nice. <laughs> but Idris Alba is a clean motherfucker, bro. He looks so good. I'm telling you, James Bond. James Bond. Make this guy James Bond, bro. He's so sick. Lord, my pride. I miss my sanguine eyes. So hold my hands up. Breathe in and breathe out. So love the one you hold. with those moments change starts with those moments change starts with six inches from the mirror that's when change starts when you look at yourself and you literally just can't bear to see what you're seeing in the mirror do you know what I mean that's when change starts right it's a very 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 powerful thing for a human being to go through to actually get to a point where they are just completely and utterly physically and emotionally uncomfortable with their with themselves and uncomfortable with their life that they to the point that they cannot fucking sleep right to the point that a light switch just switches on and it's like from the next day no new year's resolutions no oh from monday oh from this day oh from february no 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 right fucking now right fucking now i am changing everything right fucking now right that is an unbelievably powerful thing do you know what i mean and when that actually happens when you get that mental shift right it's almost like your mind opens up to a whole bunch of new possibilities right all of a sudden all the windows that you closed off now oh wait maybe let me try and actually go through that window let me try and go through that door and you realize that all the things that you were procrastinating all the things that you were afraid of was never as bad as you thought it was ever do you know what I mean the problem with our society today is we are too comfortable we are too comfortable being in the space that we're in right we don't like uncomfortability we don't like uncomfortability on anything we don't like physical uncomfortability we don't like emotional uncomfortability we don't like we always need to take some sort of vice we need to take something we need to pop something to try and deal just if you get a little bit uncomfortable you got to take something you get a headache got to take a headache tablet um you want to lose weight i got to take weight uh, loss pills you got to the nobody wants to do the hard fucking thing the stuff that really has value right because everybody wants to be comfortable the moment you get comfortable with being uncomfortable that's when your fucking life change changes being uncomfortable is one of the most powerful drivers of um of our human condition right is being uncomfortable being actually getting to a point where you are comfortable to be uncomfortable right now if you say that you are going to run tomorrow morning and it starts fucking snowing and you'd be like nah it's, you know it's, it's not gonna be uncomfortable out there good go out there and be fucking uncomfortable while you do it because your brain will reward you for that and eventually you're going to create a neural pathway in your brain where it starts rewarding the things you hate and they'll become the things you love do you know what i mean it's it's specifically in today's day and age people need to start if you want to change your life get fucking uncomfortable come on man let's go oh, a lover of the light. Yes, no. There'll be no value in the strength of walls that I have grown. Are you There'll gonna be no comfort in the day? shade of the shadow. Or are you going to finally take charge of your life? You may not trust the promises of the change I'll show. But I'd be yours if you'd be mine. Get uncomfortable.
uh, yeah, the car that actually drove past you would have been one of those people that would have taken that road, the road that everybody takes, right? The road most traveled by. And he decided, no, fuck this. I'm going to go into the backwards. I'm going to go into the road least traveled by. Do you know what I mean? I don't know where I I can't navigate any of this, but that's great. That's important because that's, that is the space where you start to learn things, right? When you're confined into your normal motoric life where it's this nine to five, I do this, I do that, and you don't take yourself out of that, there is no personal growth, growth, right? It feels like you're just this mushroom under this tree and it feels like you're never getting out of that darkness. I'm not saying that the people who do have that kind of thing don't enjoy uh, their nine to five job. That's perfectly fine, right? But those that feel, and there's a lot of people that feel that they're tied into this sort of systemic way of doing things in terms of just going to school, going to university, getting a job, working nine to five just for a paycheck. And it feels like you're not actually expanding yourself. You're not growing, right? That is when change is needed. And change is risky. Change is uncertain, but change is damn beautiful. And the things that you learn from that is uh, fantastic. Let's go. Somebody needs to pass us on. We need to start a petition. Make Idris Elba James Bond. We need to do this, but we need to do this. We need to get Idris Elba as James Bond. Oh, and I'll be a that's going to be my tagline um my tagline for uh, the new year it's going to be get comfortable with uncomfortability get comfortable with being uncomfortable that's going to be my tagline for the new year because it is absolutely imperative people are too goddamn comfortable we're too comfortable to the point that we're too comfortable to exercise we're too comfortable to um um um, actually take on you know the responsibilities we, that we have we're too comfortable to actually go and seek new horizons we're just we're just we made to be too comfortable to the point that we're so damn docile right to the point that even if you have a little bit of a headache it's like oh let me quickly pop a pill because you can't be uncomfortable for 45 minutes to an hour right start with a small start with the headaches and things like that try make yourself uncomfortable if you if you're planning to go out for a run tomorrow and it's going to be a beautiful day and that turns and it turns out being a shit day run fucking anyway be uncomfortable for an hour be uncomfortable for an hour right the rewards that you get from that right physically and mentally is just so powerful do you know what i mean if you hate running run anyway right run because you fucking hate running that's why get uncomfortable it's about time society learns to get uncomfortable right comfortability is literally the poison that is absolutely eroding our society at the moment anyway i love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you in the next one peace